malicious software removal tool. Um, it's another piece of security software that you can add to your virus and malware arsenal. Um, now anybody who's running Windows uh, and especially who's running the automatic updates for Windows actually downloads this tool once a month. Um, you probably don't know, it runs in the background um, it doesn't interfere with your normal running of a PC but there is a way that we can actually bring this up and run it as cells. Um, now when you download it from Microsoft it runs once and what it does is it runs a quick scan through your system to see whether it can find um, any viruses or malware that it's got in its detection list. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we actually manually run that so here we are on the Vista desktop and the way we actually open that is we go down to start and what we need to do is we need to run the run command and we need to open the run box now you'll see by default on Vista that we didn't actually get that in the start menu um, it wasn't added now if you're on the website if you go to the search box and type in run command we have actually got a video showing you how to add that to the start menu um, but there is another way of actually getting the run command open and that is if you look on your keyboard, if you've got a Windows key, if you press the Windows key and R together that will actually open up the run command and once you've got that open if you type MRT that's all you have to type, just press OK well, we've got this user account control again, just click on continue OK, you'll see here now that we've got the malicious software removal tool open. We're on there, on the welcome screen there. Now, one thing to check, if you see at the top here where we've got um, the Microsoft Windows malicious software removal tool, they give that such a long title, um, you'll see here that we've got January 2010. Now, we've just got to make sure that that's the right month, the current month that we're in. Um, because this is downloaded once a month from Microsoft, you don't have to run any updates on it. The update is actually released as a full program. Um, and as it says there, we've got some online documentation if you want to give that a read. Um, but what we'll look at here is this is the list of the malware and the viruses and everything else that this software can actually remove. And you'll see that it's quite a, it's quite a comprehensive list. Um, this software is dead easy to run, but it's not, as it says here, a replacement for an antivirus product. And you'll see on this system that we've got the um, Microsoft Security Essentials installed, and we've also got Malware Bytes, and we'll soon have Super Anti Spyware on here as well. I want to cover that in a in a later video, um, but for now we're just going to take a look at this. So again, it's not a replacement; it's just another string to your bow, another another layer of armor. Um, if you think your system's got an infection of any type, once you've run through your normal security procedure, such as running your um, antivirus and then running any other uh, anti-malware you've got, you might want to give this a run through as well. Or if you're having any trouble running any of these, um, it's quite possible that this will run. I'll give you, you know, give this a try. Um, so what we want to do now is we click on next. This is dead easy to run because again there's no definitions to update, nothing like that to worry about. Um, you'll see uh, that by default it's running the quick scan and this is the quick scan that it runs once it's downloaded from Microsoft. Um, but I'm always a fan of running full scans. Very rare will I run a quick scan. So if we put the radio button in full scan and then click next, the software will start scanning your system and it's as easy as that. So once we've um, started the scan, we'll just let that run through and do its thing and uh, we'll see whether it detects any malicious software. OK, once the scan's finished, you'll see that we are left with the scan results page and here we've got a green tick to say that we've um, the scan has found no malicious software. Um, below that we get a detailed result of the scan and again all our malware that, that we've scanned for is listed down this side and then the scan results are to the side of that. Um, one nice little thing actually in here is if you look down the list, say we were infected by the Win32B nut 
and we'll get the you know the infected showing there. If we left click on B nut, what that does is it takes us to Microsoft's Malware Protection Center and we get a summary of what Win32 B nut actually is, um, how it works, the symptoms um, of the infection and a little bit of technical information. Um, and then down below that we see that we've got protection um, information such as prevention um, and again it's just a nice little touch and just gives you a little bit of information and maybe help you understand how you were infected and how you can avoid being infected by that sort of thing again in the future um, so there we go that's our look at the Microsoft Windows malicious software removal tool and I want to thank you for viewing